Hi it's Therese and it's time to give me five with Penny Black and today I have some easy abstract flowers five ways. Okay so I've got this die set and it's called abstract flowers and it's really funky but basically it's a series of circles some stems and can make some really funky flowers and a couple of other ideas that I have as well so I thought I'd get straight into it and start making some very easy cards using this gorgeous die I have um, die cuts some very bright colored cardstock and I love my bright flowers and I've always loved this kind of funky shape that you can have in a flower and the best thing about this die set it is that it has all different sized die cut circles so you can layer this up or use negative spaces do whatever you please and I'm going to play with a few different ideas here now my first card is a landscape side fold and I'm doing some really simple layering here I'm only doing like three layers of the circles and they are a little bit wonky you might notice they're not actually a perfect circle so I think that makes them a little bit more fun so I've just grabbed some scraps today out of my stash and this is a really great way to use up some scraps and this would look awesome done with some nice bright design paper as well so I'm adding a few different layers like a couple of them I've added flat to the background I have kept my background white here I was thinking about doing it on a nice blue or a blue green background I think that would look great too and I am using some foam dots to pop up a couple of the flowers and some matte medium I think that works really well because when I hear something down I can actually move it to make it look just right the sentiment today is um, one that I already had die cut um, was just in the packet that's what I do if I'm playing around with an idea for a card and I don't use all of the die cuts I just pop them back in the storage packet and can use it next time it's always handy to have them in your stash and it's from a set called awesome so my next card is going to feature the abstract flowers as flowers again I'm creating a, a textures panel and using some smoky gray cardstock and I do cut that one down and that's just to add a highlight to my card the stamp I've got here is a big background stamp called Swirled and I've also used the smoky grey on some grey cardstock so tone on tone stampings just to create my own design paper and I'm doing exactly the same thing that I did for the first card here I just cut out a stack of different colours but this time I've kept it to greys and blacks so I've added that um, panel of textures to the right side of a top fold card and I stamped a sentiment from the choose happy stamp set as well as added some black splatters to the card from and I'm doing exactly the same thing that I did here before I just layered up my flowers this time I added a bit, a bit more depth to the actual flowers themselves uh, and that was just simply using some foam dots and some foam squares as well as some liquid glue just to um, change it up a bit <laughs> to add the leaves and stems and things I just found that was easier and I could just trim the bottom off of those and some black sprinkles I love how different these flowers look when they're not those bright bright colors and now my third card is also a floral design I've got a little panel that I'm gonna put on the front of it. it's nearly a square card but not quite and I'm cutting a negative space with the dies so I've got both a leaf and stem image and the largest of the flowers I added sort of a green what I want to do is to have the leaf look green and then the pink show through so I actually did and it would have been easier to adhere that pink flower before I popped up my panel for the front of the card but I didn't think of that before <laughs> and I meant to but I forgot so I decided to pop up the little black center of the flower and I think that looks really sweet as a negative space and a really nice little gift card so we've still got 
two cards to go and these ones are just a little bit different I'm going to be using the abstract flowers dies more as a negative space this time but first I'm just going to color up some critters the little mice are from critter celebration and the sweet little bear comes from a set called smiling and I'm just using some simpi simple simply <laughs> some simple Copic coloring doing some what am I doing I don't know what I'm doing I'm coloring it with some Copics and I will list all the colors at my blog because I did sort of speed through this today because it's not a big part of the video I just thought I include a short snippet of the coloring it didn't take long at all I did fussy cut all of the images the mice I actually only want to use the port portion of each image so I actually cut those right up to the edge but the bare image is going on the uh, separate card so I did actually cut that one leaving a small border all the colors that I use here on these images will be listed at my blog and you can find the link in the description below because uh, I didn't kind of show at all and I do like to add some depth just if you don't have all the colors not that you need all the colors but if you don't have a lot of Copic colors a really good trick is to buy one of the grays like um, my favorite is probably the T2 or the toner 2 to add shading you can also use the W's for the same way I think the C's can be a bit cool but um, either the TO or the T2 I use it a lot just to add that final bit of depth to an image especially if I don't have all of the colors now I'm going to re-stamp these images I had and I nearly <laughs> pushed my paper into the wrong corner did you see that so I had originally stamped it with tuxedo black and then when I over stamped it I used the onyx just to give it that real dark solid black color so on my bear card I've got a piece of black cardstock and I thought it'd be fun to make my own sort of dotty cardstock and I've just ran the dies sort of over a piece over the piece of card and moved them around and then I adhered that to a piece of white cardstock so that the white shows through popped it up on some fun foam added a sentiment from the snippets stamp set again I have used this set over and over and over and over and over and over <laughs> I'll just pop the sentiment and the bear on the front of the card and kept it really simple he's the star of the show my next design I'm doing a similar thing but this time I'm only cutting three windows and that's going to be for my three mice inside these three windows I want there to be a pop of color so I've actually cut the next size down on the abstract flower round shapes and then just adhered them behind that panel using some tape runner and then I can actually just pop up the mice as well so I adhered them with some tape runner and I did add a sentiment here this is from the smitten set which I thought was really sweet very clean and simple designs today really easy cards they came together really quickly and five cards using one die set and you could use any critter images that would sort of fit I really like these mice because I like the way I can make them look at each other <laughs> and I did remember to color that present in you might have noticed that before I missed it but I did remember and I added some Copic multi-liner stripes as well as a dark gray background so thanks for watching and remember there are lots of ways that you can connect with Penny Black and don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the Penny Black YouTube channel and visit Penny Black on Facebook and Instagram you can also check out their blog and website I've linked all of those in the YouTube description below and you can also link to my personal blog there with an exact list of supplies that I've used today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Gimme 5 Same But Different Cards with Penny Black and I look forward to seeing you here next time. Bye!